So the half pass. Now, how would you ride a half pass? Now, a half pass is a movement where the horse is actually looking into the movement. Now, I would like to ride a half pass, usually from a shoulder in. The reason I have that, because you've got the nicely wrapped around the inside leg. Your inside leg is just behind the inside shoulder. So I would ride a few strides of shoulder in first. And the way I then introduce the half pass in the walk, trot or canter would be I would initially wriggle my outside rein to say, right, the shoulder needs to move off the track. And the split second of, as I've asked them to move the shoulder off the um, outside track, I would then put my outside leg back. And then depending on what part of his body is moving quicker, I would wriggle the outside rein to then say, move your shoulders across. Or if was, he's leaving his quarters behind, I would then put my outside leg on or my spur on to say, come on, shimmy your leg over a little bit more. And then suddenly if I found that I was losing control, I would then ride forward in a, with a few strides of a very slight shoulder four to the left if you're in the left half pass, a shoulder in to the right or a shoulder four to the right if you're in the right half pass. Then I would allow him to get his body repositioned before I represented him back into the movement. Now if you're very clever you can do that within the movement itself in a test. If you train them that once they've done a few strides sideways that they move forward a few strides, when you're in the test they'll be anticipating that and you can wriggle your outside rein to say no, no, let's just keep going sideways so therefore the movement stays fluid. Now things can go wrong within any kind of lateral movement, any kind of movement and I will say to you apart from when you are physically riding the test and you've got a judge judging you, when it goes wrong, ride out of it ride out that movement. It's gone wrong, there's no point trying to salvage it, you don't need to because you're in the warm-up or you're in your own arena, you may as well just represent yourself, sort things out, get the neck where you want it to be, get the way of going better and then go back into the movement and try again. If in doubt, just ride back out.